I'm proud to introduce to the program the foster coordinator at Per Babies, Cassidy Urchuk. Cassidy, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. Why is there such an urgent need for fosters? So currently, we Per Babies is closed for intake because we don't have enough foster homes. Um, one of the main reasons is we don't have uh, a building or shelter like most other rescues. Uh, Her Babies is strictly foster based. So we rely on foster homes to help us out because we don't have anywhere else to keep the cats that we rescue. Um, so that's one of the big reasons why we really rely on the fosters and really need them. <laughs> so do you think the amount of intakes has increased at all due to the pandemic? I think that definitely plays a part. Um, I know I've heard with other rescues that um, the intakes have been increasing um, lots with uh, surrenders, um, animals that were adopted during the pandemic being surrendered back to the rescues. Um, thankfully, we haven't had too many cats returned, which is great, but um, we do have a big list of cats sitting to be rescued and come in and um, unfortunately, we with summer and everything, everybody's on holidays, so we don't have as many fosters as we usually do. Um, but yeah, I think um, that definitely does play a part. When you look for a new foster, what exactly is Per Babies looking for? Just somebody who has a big heart is willing to open up their home to an animal in need. Um, we do. Uh, it is recommended that the foster has a spare room um, just because when we take in a cat, like I said, we don't have a shelter or building to put them in. So they do need to be isolated for two weeks. Um, so when they go into a foster home, it's a lot easier if you have a spare room to keep them in to isolate them from your pets, just to be monitored um, for any signs of illness or anything. And um, not every cat comes in sick, but um, they also need to be vaccinated as well. So we just isolate them for uh, at least two weeks. Um, so having a spare room is really helpful. And um, we do supply everything for you. So um, the litter, the food, uh, litter boxes, toys, um, fostering is completely free. So yeah, basically just somebody who's willing to open up their home. Um, and all you have to do is provide basically just water and lots of love and cuddles um and yeah so what do you think the benefits are of fostering an animal it's definitely educational I would say um you learn a lot um through fostering and it's fun I mean I don't know anybody that doesn't love kitty snuggles <laughs> um you get lots of snuggles you get to play with the cats and um, it's definitely also very rewarding. You know, if you get a cat that is super timid and shy, you can help them um, get more comfortable and warm up to other people and help them kind of open up a bit and maybe not be so shy and timid. Um, or, you know, if there's a, a cat that is super sick or injured when they come in, you get to help um, nurse them back to health and, and, get them ready for their home to be and get them ready for adoption. And it's super rewarding helping them get better and um, uh, helping them along their journey to a better life and a healthy life. So I would say um, the benefits are it's very educational, rewarding and uh, fun. What does the organization do when they can't find fosters? Like how does that impact the organization? We just, we have to close our intake. We can't rescue any more cats until um, until we get more fosters. So unfortunately we just, we can't rescue the ones that need to be saved. And we just have to um, hopefully get adoptions in order to open more foster homes up. Um, but adoptions are also slow again with summer and rescues being full and everything, so. Well, you've definitely answered all my questions today. Is there anything you would like to add that I've missed? I would just say that if you are interested in fostering, um, you can go to the Per Babies Forever Homes website. Um, it's perbabiesforeverhomes.com. And that's where you will find the foster applications and the adoption applications. And um, there's also frequently asked questions listed on the site. You can look at, at them too. Um, 
And then you can also email us through the website as well if you do have any more questions about adopting or about fostering. Um, there's a, a link on the website and you can just send the email and it'll automatically email to us. Well, thank you again so much. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it.